Hey guys and welcome back to Spyro the Dragon. Oh, look at that. 64 dragons. It is the perfect number. I don't know what it is about the number 64. It just resonates with me, you know? <laughs> it resonates with him enough to, you know, name his entire game in Korea based on it. So it's got to be a really good number. I was young and incredibly dumb at the time. Well, <laughs> dumb, uh, I guess. Okay, let's go enter the dark passage. Uh, probably could have phrased that better. <laughs> Oh, Dark Passage, man. It's got it's got the dogs, it's got the fucking annoying oh, it's fairies. I just look, just got a glance of it and was triggered. Can't be dealing with it. It's just so dark and scary. I didn't sign up to play this kind of game. I didn't realise I was playing alone in the dark. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, back when Insomniac had, you know, cues from Kojima. God damn. I think those turtles are honestly more frightening when they're little, because man, it is hard to get a hit, hit in on them sometimes about them countering. Yeah, there's like one or two parts in this level where I don't notice, like those specific turtles that I fought, they almost always get a hit on you before you hit them. I don't know what it is. They're crafty bastards, they know. The enemies here can be quite frightening. Um, excuse me, what did you just say? The <laughs> <laughs> movie's there can be quite frightening. Really, really be quite exciting. Couple Thanks, of hundred of just up ahead. <laughs> oh, Clancy Brown, never change. Uh, I don't think that was Clancy Brown, but, you know. Old guy, Mick Old Guy, the other voice actor for the dragons. <laughs> 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 oh, man, why are we shitting on OAP so much in this recording session? I don't get it. I've got nothing against old people whatsoever. Hitboxes! I've got something against lanterns though, fuck that noise. Yeah. These guys are like chaotic good. Look at this shit. Fucking Loki over here. <laughs> These devils can fuck off, I can tell you that much for free. <laughs> Meanwhile... <laughs> These bellends. Like, there's a lot of non-Nork enemies in the Dreamweavers, I've noticed. Thank you for I guess maybe it's because... Hmm... I guess since the, the you know the dream we were dragons are for protecting people's dreams, maybe Nasty hasn't completely gotten to everyone's dreams and turned them into nightmares. It's like it's like <laughs> Rise of the Guardians all over again. So apparently, dragons have nightmares about dogs and turtles. Well, who's to say this is the dragons' nightmares? Maybe it could just be the nightmares of a. Uh... Well, oh, fuck, there's no humans in this world. That com <laughs> that completely destroys my argument right there. Okay, I guess it's <laughs> Dragon Nightmares. Dragon Nightmares. Oh, uh, thank you. The new the new indie metal band coming to a record label near you. <laughs> yeah, the, ch the, the metal slash chiptune Pokemon homage band. Good stuff. <laughs> That's a fucking specific genre of music. That's very cliche. They're, they're cornering the market on those types of uh, releases, you know? They know their audience. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> They've got that thing down pat. Damn, man, I blinked and you got like a few more dragons. Jesus, I should pay more attention. Yeah, to be fair, you don't really need to. It is just go to new place, get dragon, go to new place, get dragon. Well, you're really not selling the videos to our audience right now. I don't need to, they've sold themselves. <laughs> ah, yes. Mm. With the wonderful commentary by Chaff and Digi and Entom. <laughs> that guy in the background occasionally. <laughs> yeah, the guy who talks and basically fulfills a quota. I mean, I could leave it at 64 dragons, but then that wouldn't be 100%, so we have to make that sacrifice, Tom. We can't be 64 forever. Yeah, I suppose. Just really badly edit it. So whenever you get a new dragon, it still says 64. Just, just put a, j a belly crop JPEG over it. <laughs> <laughs> the four over the number. Yeah. So it doesn't matter. Uh, I don't know, man. I've been stuck at this, like, 63rd regeneration for a while now, so... <laughs> it'll have to take something really catastrophic for me to turn to end on 65. Oh god, I now have seven hearts. What is this? Like, Doctor Who's been away for a while, alright? Cut me some slack. <laughs> Like, coming back at Christmas with Justin Chatwin playing a fucking superhero. Those were the days. Do you know who Justin Chatwin is, by the way? Uh, the name's familiar, but I don't think I'll have seen him. <laughs> Isn't that the guy who played Goku in Dragon Ball Evolution? Yes, yes it is. Oh god, it's him! Oh, I knew I recognised it from somewhere. See, I told you those turtles were fucking annoying. They're horrible. 
are they so hostile? What do they want from me? I just want to kill them! <laughs> they want to chew your face! Let's try this again. <laughs> oh, I forgot they can spit the little spark. Yeah, fireballs out here. Uh huh. Just, you know, because they're not horrible enough. Alright, the second we get done freeing all the dragons and, you know, recollecting all the treasure that Nasty Nork stole, I'm going on a fucking genocide, and I mean this for real, of those goddamn Loki fairies. They have done nothing but, like, cause havoc in this level so far. <laughs> the problem is, is that they seem to be completely invulnerable. Like, if you charge them, they just go into their lanterns. If you flame them, they just go into their lanterns. Well, you can't actually have Spiral kill things. This is the E-rated game. You can't have that. We can only have cartoon violence. We can't have actual violence. Yeah, you can't see Hunter be, like, shot through the calf muscles and left to die in the wilderness out there. That's just not happening. <laughs> Dick's out for Hunter. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Thanks, Spyro. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just going to pause here while my voice clip loads in. There we go. Hello, Spyro. Aw, oh, Spire's adorable. I'm from the 90s. I'm adorable. Hug me. <laughs> Don't touch the horns. Etc, etc. I've got to say, sorry to, sorry to interrupt, but I've got to say that this... I mean, I, I know we keep saying the word aesthetic a lot, but it's it's got a really nice sort of... Oh, Jesus Christ, yeah. It's got a really nice colour scheme to it. I quite like sort of the purples and reds. It's a very, very nice, genteel colour scheme. I agree. No nothing more to add. <laughs> I, <I'll... laughs> that goof aside from chaff, I agree with everything you're saying. Yeah, it's quite. Mmm. Oh god, the Brit gaming Brit's coming back. Uh, having a good time recording Ratchet and Clank Three with him at the moment, actually. Oh really? That's good. It's uh... as you should. It's an awesome game. It is. Yeah. That'll be going up in uh, December. I think it starts on December 5th, actually. Ooh. There you go. Good Christmas watch for you, ladies and gentlemen. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Fuck watching the Queen's speech. <laughs> oh my god, Mum, we've got to get <laughs> got to get Hellfire Comms on the TV. Part 7's out. Ah, uh, well, you know, son, they're having a five playthrough blowout to celebrate the end of 2016. <laughs> and Tom's grandma confirmed for new commentary team. <laughs> my grandma's dad won't. Uh, <laughs> oh Jesus! Uh. Shall we? Shall we just forget that conversation happened? <laughs> yes, let's let's <laughs> focus on genociding more metal turtles and like, <laughs> cartoonish devils instead. Yes, kill them all. <laughs> Those are the real issues we're facing in 2016 as a millennial. It's the next big Daily Mail article about how these metallic turtles are taking away our jobs. Oh, Christ. Millennials are taking out all our gyms. What's the deal? Uh. <laughs> What's the deal with these millennials? They're Nork sympathizers. Fuck them. <laughs> Whoa, that rocket was just having a good time. It's so fucking inefficient. There's no need. It looks pretty. That's all it needs. Is that it? Oh, it's ticking oh. down. Wait for it. Hey. Yeah. Boner drive engaged. Let's go home. E return home. <laughs> okay. 500 added to the collection. It's all good. Oh, we're almost quintuple f uh, digits. Is it qu yeah, quintuple f uh, digits now. F completely forgot my numerical naming systems there. I feel like a doofus. Well, quin means four, I believe. No, that's quad. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, Tom? Get your numbers right, Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's okay. We're not... Not everyone's an expert at math. Well, there's expert, and then there's rudimentary, and then there's me ten levels below, though. <laughs> there's me occasionally adding numbers properly. Now, here comes Haunted Tower's fancier cousin. This one's a bit bigger... You know, it's more densely packed with enemies, and these enemies are kind of annoying, so there you go. Also, it's very nice to look at. It's very... happy. Yeah. That's not the word I would use to describe this level, but I appreciate your taste. Alright, Didri, let's have it. Let's have your opinions on Lofty Towers. <laughs> oh boy, let me get the notebook out. Sorry, sorry, <laughs> I meant Lofty Castle. I had Haunted Towers on the brain. <laughs> lofty Towers, Lofty Castle, it's all the same. It's... I like the design and I like the idea of it, but I feel that this level sort of outstays its welcome a little bit. Yeah, um, I, I see what you mean, yeah. 
it feels a bit too big, and it's just like, okay, the gimmick of this level is you've got to rescue all the fairies to make a whirlwind so you can get to the next area. I don't want to do that. That dodge was fucking hype, sorry. Couldn't let that pass by. <laughs> it's fine, I can appreciate a good, uh, you know, good strat. But it's, I, yeah, it's the fairies that annoy me, because it's just like, I don't see the point in this fetch quest malarkey. Just let me go to the next area, please. Well, I mean, it adds a bit of variety. You know, you have an objective. It adds a bit of variety, but it adds a bit too much variety. Uh, fuck fairies, 2016, digital alchemist. Uh, I think I'll find you taking my words out of context there, Tom. Uh, I'm going to file a super injunction. Okay, super injunction, Jesus. <laughs> Spyro's Bizarre Adventure. Oh, fucking Dio, get out of it. <laughs> Not enough for your shit. I can't get over how cartoony and out of place these goddamn devils are. I know, it's ridiculous. It's like, okay, you know all those terrible Valentine's cards. But that's what kind of makes it work, you know? Is that is that a one gem? Oh my god, you cheeky bastards. <laughs> the, the inefficiency literally caused the piss to boil inside my body. <laughs> <laughs> it would cost more money to build that thing. <laughs> What the fuck? I forgot about that. I completely. I think that's the only one in the game as well. Mm, close to it, at the very least. I imagine they designed it, and they're like, "Okay, we have to put this one gem box somewhere in the game, somewhere." They put it in like the second to last world. That won't piss anyone off, right? Oh, <laughs> not when we're used to twenty fives and tens out the wazoo. Let's just throw a one in here because you know we're insomniac. This is what we do now. A lack of foresight on their part, not predicting this playthrough coming nearly twenty years later. Honestly. <laughs> Yeah, fucking insomnia. What are you playing at? I know you watch these videos. I like this part of the level, the castle, though. Yeah, it's uh, it's nice and not too sort of crowded. It's, it's a little nice and open space. Except the fact they put a fucking whirlwind in the entrance for some bizarre reason. Get Kevin McLeod on that. That's terrible design. Well, no one ever said dragons were good architects. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't they build this place? They don't even have any thumbs. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, an architect's worst nightmare, not having thumbs. Look, it was 1998, they couldn't afford to model thumbs back then. <laughs> <laughs> they had to have a thumb budget. Maybe we, we just got the story all wrong. Like, the Norks are oppressed, they were just basically, like, hired to build stuff for the dragons, and the dragons didn't really pay them well enough. Oh my god, it's Brexit all over again. What the fuck? But 20 years beforehand. Oh my god, Spyro predicted Brexit. Uh, Hashtag conspiracy. Supercharge will get you to new places here in Lofty Castle too. This dragon makes me uncomfortable. I think it's his pelvis. <laughs> <laughs> He's clipping through him <laughs> his own stomach. Ah yes, that key we needed five minutes ago. Thank you, bizarre old dragon. So yeah, he mentions the supercharge, but we don't really use it all that much in this level. Like... It's just kind of here. Uh -huh. Yeah, but look at that sick donut you've just pulled. That's it. That's all the supercharge is good for in this level. Is you know, Fast and Furious. Yeah, I and mean, that's literally it. Are you satisfied, kids? Are you sleeping yet? <laughs> Does the supercharge come back later in the game? I honestly can't remember. Like, offhand, I can't remember if any one of the levels later on uses it. There is... There's still, like, a couple in uh, Nasty's world, I think. Ah, yes, there is, yeah. Right at the very end. Yeah, like, I remember the level exactly, actually. Horrible, horrible level. Nah, it's fine. We'll get to that bridge when we, uh, when we get there, really. Indeed. And also cross it. Baruti! Thank you for releasing me! Oh, okay. Hi, Clancy Brown. <laughs> Your name implied you had more to say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like being a guy called... I don't know, uh, Gandolfi the Golden and Almighty, and you just, like, meet him and he says, thank you for meeting with me, and then he just goes about his business. It's like, yeah, it's like meeting, you know, a fucking wizard, but it's in Poundland. You know, it's that kind of thing. <laughs> hey, wizards know a bargain when they see one, all right? Oh, no, 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 it's, it's, I, I appreciate that, wizards are good at money, but it's more that, you know, it's just like, Yes, hello, I'm Gandalf the Second. Uh, that'll be £3.50. Oh, okay, so the wizard has a job in... Yes, 
The wizard is the Poundland cashier. You know what's funny? I seem to recall that we had a similar conversation when we played through this level. <laughs> Did we? <laughs> like, either I'm mixing up my memories or I'm getting a serious case of deja vu here. <laughs> we were just talking about how dragon names don't reflect their personality. No, like the wizard in Poundland and all that shit. <laughs> wow, that's an oddly specific conversation to recreate. I think we found a superpower. <laughs> hey, it's probably just a dream that's been stuck in my mind and like... <laughs> It murdered a memory and took its place, you know? <laughs> I'm slightly concerned as to what you're dreaming about me and you talking about Gandalf serving you at Poundland. <laughs> uh, I don't control my brain, mate. I think we're all aware of that by now. <laughs> See, your dreams and memories are being manipulated. You need to call the dragons to assist you. <laughs> ah. There you go. It all comes back. Full circle. Holy shit, how topical. What are these things? They are uh, freshly cooked Thanksgiving turkeys. Okay. That fly. It's actually near to Thanksgiving when we're recording this, actually. Well, yeah, it is. It's almost Turkey Day. Yeah. yeah. And uh, you know what uh, day Thanksgiving is on this year? Go on. November 24th. Nice. Ooh. My birthday. So on that most wonderful of days, give thanks for me. And possibly, you know, whatever you're grateful for. That's really what the holiday is all about. <laughs> but me as well. Firstly if you can me. Just, yeah, <laughs> if, you can, if you can just leave me in there, that'd be great. Yeah. Yeah, when I'm, when I'm stuffing my face full of turkey and collard greens and biscuits, I'm going to remember. I wonder what Tom's doing on his birthday. Oh, probably eating Domino's and doing fuck all, mate. Fuck yeah, buddy. <laughs> okay, okay. We've still got a little bit more of the Dreamweavers to go, but uh, we'll have to finish it next time. <laughs>